The National Center for Sustainable Coastal Management was established by the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change in 2011 to promote sustainable coasts through scientific research and integrated management. It is today emerging as a world-class institution in coastal management. The NCSCM building is designed as a Platinum LEED certified building, retaining the existing natural tree cover. The design incorporates stringent safety norms for specialized laboratories. NCSCM is executing several cutting-edge research programs that span natural and social sciences, economics and planning for integrated management of India's coast and islands. It is working with the Society of Integrated Coastal Management, SICOM, Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change in implementing the World Bank Assisted Integrated Coastal Zone Management ICZM project. Under its shoreline management program, NCSEM has carried out an assessment of shoreline changes and observed that up to 45% of India's coast experiences erosion. The demarcation of 27 coastal sediment cells aids in understanding the coastal processes and movement of sand for conservation and sustainable development of the coastline. Keeping in mind climatic changes, coastal erosion and coastal flooding. The hazard line has been demarcated along the entire coast of India with the help of Survey of India using digital aerial photography. NCSCM has demarcated over 76,000 kilometers of high tide line and low tide line for the entire country as mandated in the CRZ notification 2011. As per the CRZ notification 2011, over 34,000 square kilometers of the 11 ecologically sensitive areas ESA, along the coast of India have been mapped by the center. This has aided in the conservation of the ESAs and identification of highly stressed zone HSZ within sensitive ecosystems such as mangroves, salt marsh, seagrass and coral reefs. Concurrently, specific conservation management plans are being developed. Currently, NCSEM is also preparing the coastal zone management plans for many of the coastal states and union territories. It is also in the process of preparing an integrated management plan for all 12 notified critically vulnerable coastal areas under the CRZ notification 2011. Studies by NCSEM on enhancing blue carbon sequestration have also scientifically proved the potential of mangrove and seagrass ecosystems as a net sink of atmospheric carbon. NCSEM monitors the increasing coastal and marine pollution and has assessed the status through extensive field surveys. Music 
bacterial consortia capable of degrading hydrocarbons have been isolated and identified. Marine litter, including microplastics along the beaches, have been quantified and characterized to assess its impact on the food web, particularly on commercially important fishers. Extensive research and monitoring has been carried out for mapping of fishing spaces, alternative livelihood, community schemes, and empowering women in fisheries. By a system of constant monitoring and research, NCSCM is looking at the potential of renewable marine living and non-living resources. Assessing offshore wind energy potential is a major outcome of these studies. Studies by NCSEM have also led to the setting up of a database, Combine, which provides extensive information on over 11,000 species of flora and fauna inhabiting various coastal and marine ecosystems. Real-time monitoring of coral reef ecosystems of India is being made by establishing data boys and automated weather stations. This provides data on key environmental variables to monitor the health of coral reef ecosystems. Further, NCSEM has established an eddy covariance system to monitor greenhouse gas emissions at the biosphere-atmosphere interface on real-time at Bhitar Kanika Mangrove Ecosystem. The Island Coastal Zone Management Plan for selected islands of Andaman and Nicobar has been prepared by NCSCM. NCSCM prepared the Integrated Island Management Plans for five uninhabited islands of Lakshadweep and together with NCESS prepared the IIM plans for its 10 inhabited islands. The Integrated Management Plan for Lakshadweep Islands is an important intervention by NCSCM as it addresses issues such as coral health, fisheries development, tourism, water quality, and climatic changes. NCSEM brings its extensive work together through web map application, Coast Online, and by publications, capacity building, outreach programs, and through participation in major scientific exhibitions and festivals. The Centre has won Special Achievement Award in GIS at both national and international levels and was the first runner-up at the India International Science Festival 2017. NCSEM strives to achieve a balance between coastal conservation and coastal development by bridging natural science, social sciences and technology for sustainable future of India's coast. NCSEM continues to pursue its research goals that promote sustainable management at the land-ocean edge. <laughs>